Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is. The Chosen One, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you guys with another NBA main slate video. Uh, what a crazy day, right, for news and lineups. And my God, uh, it was real easy to cram a bunch of studs in there and get some scrubs in there. Hopefully, you guys got that bread. Because DFS Club, we do every day. Um, not all of us, but, you know. I see on Twitter that some people brag about they had a they had a takedown on their Discord, which is great, you know, good for them. But you know that happens every day here. <laughs> somebody takes down on our Discord every single day. Not everybody, just somebody. But we tend to do fairly well, guys. That members only podcast today was a lot of fun. It was crazy. It was on point. Um, just shout out to LT. Shout out to Space. Shout out to the club, guys. Here's how we did today. Um, so Jim got a two ninety two. Um, if Jokic would not have went out there and dudded, my line would have I, – I cashed, but my line would have cashed a hell of a lot more. Slim Dog got a 287. Very nice. And nice. 287. Highest Falcon with some FanDuel. Yep. We talked about Eric Gordon in the Members Only podcast, which we do one hour before a lot, guys. There's some more. Highest Falcon. Oh, okay. Kumquat, one of my favorites here. One of my favorite members. One 150 here. One a little bit there. Came in seventh out of 120. Wow. Nice, dude. What I tell you? And then your, your lineups look good. Bobby J is always, always 285. Little John Wall action. Man, I wish you would just break that 30 freaking fantasy point mark. Don kick dudded today. How about my thumbnail, though? Toscano Anderson went off. Um, LC Scientist, look at that. Won $590. Very nice, dude. These are my lineups here that I posted for the family. DraftKings Joker got a 303. You know me, the C. Very nice. Yeah, that LeBron call was solid, guys. I'm glad you guys did that. Hell's Phoenix, 300 here. Got 289 here. Nice lineup. That lineup looks uh looks good. So that one cashed 276 here. Because you know, you got myself, you got space, you got LT, just not only with the podcast, the lineup. So it, it's 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 a lot, guys, but it's a lot of good stuff. Uh TY Money Bags. New member, 308 on FanDuel, L-L-L-C-H-R-T-X-X, $7 winner. Our members are, they all, some play big, some play small, guys. This this DFS club is for everybody. And you know this guy, this is Schroeder Skywalker. You want to you wanna get comfy here? All right, well, you can just, you can sit right here. Um, so if you're new to the video, this is Schroeder. He takes part in all the videos. He's actually the real star of the show. I mean, who's kidding who? Uh, Ty Morning Bags, two ninety three. Very nice, dude. Good call, Maxi. By the way, not bad for twenty five. Um, two fifty six even cash. It was one of those nights, guys, because a lot of the studs just dudded. So that's how we did. I'd say not too shabby, right, Schroeder? Look at that face. He says, "Yeah, Dad, not too shabby." Guys, if you want to be a part of the DFS club, you want my lineups. The cheat sheets, the ownership. Did I say my lineups? The ownership, cheat sheets, projections. Yes, guys, not for one sport, not for two, but for every single damn sport out there. We got UFC this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. We got NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, UFC, WNBA, college sports, guys, EuroLeague basketball. Click join now. Did really good in EuroLeague basketball today. Uh, click my logo, Skywalker DFS. And again, guys, pick your pick your plans. I'm consistently cashing on NHL, whether it be on DraftKings or FanDuel. Some days I hit on both. Some days I hit on one or the other. But trust me, when I hit, it makes up for both of them. Every single sport, guys. Cheapest in the industry. Nobody wants to do this. Nobody will ever have two providers team up. Damn near three with LT. He doesn't consider himself one, but he is one. Okay. 
everyone says you guys will never it can never happen because providers are, are too greedy well that's them dfs space and i started this club gosh we're coming up on two years now it's been two years and you know what we're stronger than ever over 500 members guys you get two providers they said it couldn't be done. Well, we, we've we done it. And we've been doing it for two freaking years. Let's go. Shout out to Space. Shout out to LT. Shout out to the family, guys. Come check us out, dfsclub.com. And don't forget, guys, if you're new, it would do me a big solid if you would hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and please leave me a comment. Please leave me a comment. Um, and that gets you in that free $20 PayPal giveaway, which will be given away. This Saturday night, we do it each and every week. It's just my way of saying thank you to you guys for tuning in and continuing to, to support my channel. I'm just so grateful to you guys, and it's the least I can do. Besides getting these fire picks, guys, you get free money every Saturday. So don't miss out on the free stuff. DFSclub.com. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. All right, so let's get into it. Pretty big slate today. Um... We're kind of getting used to these uh, gigantor of, of slates, pretty much. Um, I thought it was a 10 gamer, but let's see. I think it went down to a nine, or is it still? Okay, yeah, it's a nine game slate. Sorry, guys. Um, this is Draft Dashboard, by the way. This is my sponsor. It's $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys. You get NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, all my player pools, guys. The lineup optimizer, which we go over at the end of every video. The sleepers and studs, the position optimizer, and the NBA cheat sheet. Because if you can't win, cheat. Got the best studs, best mid-tier, best value draft dashboard. All right. So let's go over the injuries real quick. Uh, Okafor is out. Jalen Brown's questionable. All right. Um, Dre Crowder. Jay Crowder's out. Dort is out. So we don't gotta, you don't got to pick between him and, and Diallo now. I'm just like. Dort come in there and shit all over your lineup like last slate. Oh, uh, what an asshole. Uh, Neto's out. Avery Bradley's out. Shea Gill's out again. D'Angelo Russell is questionable, but I think he's going to play. P.J. Washington is out. O.G. Ananobi's out. Terry Rozier Chocolates is probable now. So not as much Charlotte um, values we had last slate, but that's okay. Don't you dare be sour. We'll find some value. Otto Porter's doubtful. Um, all right, so let's get into it, guys. Let's go, let's go. We'll start at center tonight since we, we've been starting at point guard a lot. So we'll start at center. Giannis Antipupu at 10 8. It's okay. Um, for me, it's just the uh, low out factor, right? But I don't really like to play it that way, but it is what it is. I don't know if Cleveland can keep up Milwaukee, guys. Giannis, I'm glad that his minutes have gone up, but it's just. I'm used to a more consistent Giannis getting like 60s and 70s on, on like the, the regular, which he's done four out of his last five. But it's the blowout factor. That's why his history against Cleveland, I mean, it's not that good. is because I think he only plays like three quarters. So not my top payup option. Bam, I'm born on a Bayou at 9-2 is okay. But for him to be 9K, guys, I'm going to continue to say this. He needs to be more consistent with 50s and 60 riggers because that's what you want with a 9K player. 40s ain't going to cut it. And even that 30 there. So I'm not on BAM. Just too much for me. Uh, Sabonis, so however, I'd rather get here at 8.6K. You know, he's continuously getting 50s and 60s. Um, his price only went up by a couple hundred bucks, guys. He's $200 more on Fandle. Going up against New Orleans, guys. Get him in there. Vucevic, absolutely love this play. Bigs against Chicago. 8.5K. Should absolutely dominate here. I expect him to be pretty popular at 8.5, but you never know. Vooch is always, like, uh, kind of on the lower own side. But, yeah, guys, look at his history against Chicago. Every center against Chicago's history looks good, but 40, 54, 53, 59, 50. Yeah, guys, give me some Vooch. Drummond, I ain't playing that minutes game with Jared Allen. Uh, Zion Williamson, 8-1, safe 40, right? Uh, almost got, almost finally got his 50 last game. Two points shy, but almost got us there. Uh, going up against Indy. Last time against him, he got 45, so he's definitely in play. Pascal Siakam Malakam at 7.6K. Great matchup against Brooklyn, guys. Um, 
I like this game, actually. I think Toronto can keep up with them. But, yeah, I like a lot of Toronto here. Um, the Brooklyn guys, you know, you got to pick one. That's all you have <laughs> room for. But, yeah, guys, love Siakam at 7'6". 1,300 more on, on Vandal, so definitely DraftKings only, guys. The Bear, Rudy Gobert, coming off a of back-to-back, but, I mean, he still plays. 7.4K, guys. His minutes have gone down, but it's because they're blowing everybody out. I expect them to blow out Charlotte again, so, yeah, there's that. DeAndre Ayton, 7-1. This game's supposed to be a blowout, too, according to the odds makers, um, but Ayton at 7-1 is pretty tempting. 33, 35, 48 in his last three. And it's against Detroit. Just the matchup's really good. Again, it's just a blowout. Um, Thaddeus Young, I do like. I do like that. 6.2K, guys. 38, 39, 41 minutes in his last minutes. Points, fantasy points in his last three. There we go, Skywalker. And limited amount of time, too. 25, 30, and 28 minutes. So that's always good to see, guys. Thad Young, no auto Porter Jr. Get him in there. Al Horford. Against Minnesota, sign me up. No cat. Who's going to guard him? Naz Reed, right? Al Horford gets 25 to 30 minutes a game. I love, I'm going to stack the OKC side again because these guys are cheap and we're getting good value. But Al Horford at 6'1", guys. Last time against Minnesota, he got a 40. Before that, a 31, 23, 41. Get him in there, guys. Get him in there. Naz Reed, if he can stay out of foul trouble at 5'4", would be an absolute smash play against OKC, but he's got to stay out of foul trouble. 5-4 is really cheap, though. He got 31 his last time out, 32 minutes, $400 more on FanDuel. Aaron Baines, if he starts. If they pull that baloney like they did that last slate, and if he, if Aaron Baines don't start, guys, don't play him. It's that simple. Last two games, though, 29, 32 fantasy points. It's just the output, right? 12 points at 4.2k i still like him guys i still do especially if he starts and if he didn't cast today because you're not part of the dfs club like i keep telling you guys it's affordable for everybody but don't you dare be sour clap your hands and feel the power let's go to power forward guys because the most beautiful thing about dfs is it's a new day yes it is you can lose one day, come back the next day, guys, and just take the whole shit down. And like I always say, I'm playing with the house money the rest of the season. I've already had two takedowns. All it takes is one, but I've had two. So this whole season's on the house. So it's all about a bankroll management system too, guys. Um, so Kevin Durant's always my favorite payup for Brooklyn. 9.6K, getting him under 10K now, which I kind of like. Just took him to have one 40-point game, and they dropped his price. Um, against Toronto, guys, 9-6, KD should smash here. Get him in there. Jason Tatum. I was uh, – that's my um, DFS space impersonation. Not too bad. That's a little southern draw there, but he's 8.9K. Um, tough matchup against the Clippers, guys, but his last two against some 50 burgers, 56, 51. Get him in there, some Jason Tatum. Um, let's see here. That's a horrible impression of space, by the way. I sound more like Forrest Gump. Probably look more like him, too. Uh, Jeremy Grant, 7K, is fine. Again, it's just the blowout thing. You know, that's a real deal. It seems like, did every game blow off today? My God. Um, Darius Baisley should get the start again at 5.7K. I almost said gay. Uh, boy, that get me in trouble. Um 34 minutes, last game, 42 fantasy points. So, like I said, guys, his production did go up. It just takes one person to miss the game. No uh, Shea Gill, and then everybody on this uh, OKC team just benefits. They All all their production goes up. So, give me some Baisley at 5.7, $100 less on FanDuel. Uh, Miles Bridges should get the start again with no P.J. Washington. So, 5-4, definitely worth a look. If he starts hitting that 6K range, though, that's where I'm off the train. 32 minutes, 32 fantasy points last game. Get him in there. Denny, 3.9K. Told you guys on last night's video, um, as long as he's in this 3K range and he gets you 20 fantasy points, he's golden. 
So always a safe play here if you want to punt at 3.9K. Gets a start. All right, so let's go to small forward. So Kawhi Leonard is way too cheap in my opinion. He's only 8.8K. Very tempting. Last time against Boston, he got a 50-burger. And it's Kawhi freaking Leonard. Do I need to tell you guys? No. No, I don't. He's well-rested, guys. He's going to play over 30, some 40 minutes if the game's close. On paper, this game looks like it should be competitive. Now, that could change if Jalen Brown is out, but we'll keep an eye on it. I do like Kawhi. For last time I've seen him this cheap was like two years ago, honestly. So 8.8K, 900 or more on FanDuel. So, guys, DraftKings only. Jimmy Buckets, guys, what I tell you, 8.3K. His price went down. $200 more on FanDuel. Great matchup against Washington, guys. Don't miss out on this Jimmy Buckets magic that's been happening. Since he got back from injury, guys, 51, 50, 45 in his last three. His last two against Washington. Well, look at his history against Washington, period. 45, 60, 11, 50, and a 40. Jimmy Buckets at 8-3, guys. Get him in there. He's always low owned. Um, let's see. Diallo at 5.2K should get the start again, right? No Dort factor. So I think he should definitely should get another 30 fantasy points, another 30 minutes. If his shooting's more on point, he could break the slate, but he'll probably be chalky even at 5.2. So it's hard to break a slate when you're, when you're the chalk. Um, Norman Powell's in play because OG, triple OG, same OG is out. So. Just the price tag's a little too much for my my liking, but he can get you a 40 at any given moment. Last time against Brooklyn, he got your 45. So if he can get 45 again at 6'7, yeah. That's great value, but we'll see. Uh Anthony Edwards at 5'5, five, five, guys. Not bad. 30 minutes a game consistently, guys. Great matchup against OKC. I don't know how you don't find room to get this young man in there, guys. Um uh, Let's see. We already went over Denny. All right. So let's go to shooting guard. Shooting guard. James Harden. Even if he plays 10 6. No, no. Ain't going to do it. I'd rather play KD. Uh, Bradley Beal, 9 5. Him and Russell Westbrook, I think, are too cheap. You can play both of them. Um, out of the two, though, I'd probably go Russell Westbrook. But. Bradley Beal has, you know, who has a higher upside? You tell me. I don't know. It's like 50-50, right? Um, good matchup against Miami. Um, 52-40, 59 in his three against them. So, yeah, get him in there at 9-5. Um, Bradley Beal's always low on two, I've noticed, especially on bigger slates. Paul George still too cheap at 8-7, guys. Got that fifty, got beautiful 54 last game in only 34 minutes. I played him. Um, get them in there, guys. You want to stack him and Kawhi. Both are in the 8K range, so it's definitely definitely uh, worth taking a look at. Uh, Zach Levine at 8-4. He's a 9K player, guys. 40, 35, 45. He started off the season with a bang, right? Um, his points have gone down, but his minutes haven't. He just needs to get off the schneid. He's $500 more expensive on FanDuel, guys. Going up against Orlando. Definitely worth a look at 8.4K. Then he had the man who broke the last slate, Fat Fred Van Vliet. And I told you guys he'd bounce back, but I didn't think he'd get an 80-burger. My God, but he did. And he gets a good matchup against Brooklyn, guys. He got that hardened Kyrie defense, but I'm talking about Fat Fred Van Vliet. This man is a legend. He's a DFS legend, guys. He's under 8K. Get him in there at 7.9. Let's see. We already went over Diallo, Norman Powell, Edwards. Dio, the Mandalorian, guys. 5K. We're going to keep playing him, right? We'll get the start. He'll get mid-30s minutes. Um, hopefully, he gets you 30 fantasy points. Just a low, productive guy, but he's a rookie, man. So, 5K. $200 cheaper on Fandle. Even better on Fandle. But, yeah, guys, the Mandalorian. Get him in there. Um... Brian Forbes, I wanted to talk about because nobody's talking about this guy. Right? Remember, he used to play for San Antonio. He's only 3.2K. I couldn't help notice, but the last two games, I don't know if it's because of the blowouts or what. This game blows out. He might be the new Bobby Portis. So 22, 18 minutes in his last two. 
20 and 27 fantasy points. So if you think this game is going to blow out, which I think it will, I think you can go with some Brian Forbes as a punt play at 3.2K. Remember, he only needs to get you 20 fantasy points to crush value. And I think he'll do it, guys. So Bobby Portis is priced up now. So I think the new Bobby Portis for me from Milwaukee will be Brian Forbes. So at a mere 3.2K, Skywalker sneaky, sneaky value play of the We'll call it the slate, but I want to call it of the show. All right. This is a this is a show, all right. We got we got Schroeder here. You know, we got cats and dogs. You know, we might have some lions, tigers, and bears. I mean, you never know on my shows. We sometimes we have UFC fighters, redheads, blondes, brunettes, right? Yeah, he's like, damn it, dad. <laughs> but yeah, guys. So my sneaky sneaky play. Brian Forbes. That's right. Brian freaking Forbes. You're only going to hear it here on the Skywalker show. Let's go to point guard. So Russell Russell is 9K. Again, if you want to stack both of them, it'll cost you, but always not a bad idea. Russell Westbrook can get you an 80 just like Bradley Beal can. It's a good matchup against Miami, so get him in there. Brogdon is down to 8K. That's very tempting. He had a bad game, so you know what? Let's price him down to 8K. I love their way of thinking here. Uh, we benefit as DFS players. Last time against New Orleans, guys, he got 60 fantasy points. 60, 6 0. So, Malcolm Brogdon, one of my favorite payups, guys, at 8K. Get him in there. Uh, Darius Garland, Colin Sexton's questionable, too. So, we'll see. But Darius Garland's going to get the start no matter what. He's still in the 5K range. Guys, this is a no-brainer. You got to get him in there, even though this game's going to blow out. 5.8, so way too cheap. $300 more on Fandle, so definitely a DraftKings play here, especially if Colin Sexton's out. His production, he'll get a lot more shots, guys. Cole Anthony, 5.7K. Yes, sir. The year of the rookies, man. Uh, 30 minutes a game, around 30 fantasy points a game consistently. Great matchup against Chicago. No one's going to give him no trouble in the backcourt, guys. Cole Anthony, get him in there. Um, TJ McConnell's not bad at 5K. Um, his minutes, you know, almost 30 minutes a game. Gets damn near 30 fantasy points a game. So it's always a risk. But the matchup's good against New Orleans. And he'll be low on for sure. All right. So that's going to do it for my picks. Let's go to... The lineup optimizer. And let's see what we can't put together real quick before we get going, guys. Remember, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing. All right. So, yeah, Vucevic is pretty much um, a lock for me this late. But I don't want to put him in my utility spot. This is going to draft Kings lineup. Then we'll do a FanDuel one. I'd rather put him here in the center spot. All right. I always like to do two centers this season. That's been a thing for me. I'll pay it for one, and then I'll try and pay down for the other. Um, where's where's my man? There's Naz Reed at 5'4". We'll do Naz Reed. Uh, we got 2K to play with here. Um, I feel like Brogdon. Cole Anthony's solid. I mean, Theo Maladin, solid. You can't go wrong there, but maybe I'll put one of them. In, my, in the uh, let's go with uh, which one Russell Westbrook Brogdon hmm let's go Brogdon let's go Diallo yep I'll keep him there um, we're a hundred dollars over guys that's all right we got Troy Brown my god and small forward we get we got to do better in this guy's uh, let's see Troy Brown might play but he hasn't been playing as a late We'll go Denny here. Don't you dare be sour. And let's go to Power Forward. What's up, Schroeder? He's trying to get my attention so bad. What's up, man? See that paw like sticking in there? <laughs> we'll go Baisley. We need to save 600. No problem. No problemo. Because you know what we're going to do here. Since I think it's going to be a blowout, we're going with some Brian freaking Forbes, guys. Boom. 3-2. So now we got 2K to play with. We got Zion. We can go better than that. So with that 2K, we can go KD. We can go Tatum. We can go Kawhi Leonard. We can go Sabonis, Jimmy Butler. 
I like Sabonis in this spot. So now I got more salary to play with. Um, maybe we can pay up here a little bit. Yeah, we can get ourselves some Miles Bridges. So here we go. 50K. Brogdon, Diallo, Bridges, Baisley, Vooch, Byron Forbes, Sabonis, Naz Reed. Not bad, guys. I'll say this for my draft dashboard members. Let's go to FanDuel. Let's see what we can't, what, what kinds of smoke we can't create over here. So Vucevic is the most, wow. That's rare. He's the most expensive center, but we're going to pay it because who we can. TJ McConnell, 4 6, is really good. Um, Schroeder biting my shoulder, trying to get my attention. We're not done filming it, buddy. We can go. I'll go the Mandalorian here. Um, Diallo, I still like. We want to pay up here. Mm. Norman Powell. I know you guys are screaming. You guys, we got to get our man Brian Forbes in here. Shit, you guys see this? This is what Bengal cats do, man. They, if you don't pay attention to them, they will bite your shoulder and like pull you. Like, hey, I'm right here. This is what this is what he does. Bless his little heart. All right, Shorter, we're almost done, buddy. Almost. All right. So power forward. I want to get Baisley in here really bad. I, I don't. I can't see fading Baisley. So Jeremy Grant, you got to go. Nothing personal. Um, Miles Bridges, I guess, and then we got we got some salad to play with here. So I just like to scroll through real quick and get guys in. So I I like this here. These four guys, Bridges is solid. Forbes, I'll keep in there. Maybe we'll go up. Maybe we'll fade this Diallo chalk. What do you guys think? Get Norman Powell in here. We'll do that. So we got Malcolm Brogdon, The Mandalorian, Norman Powell, Brian Forbes, Bridges, Butler, Sabonis, Baisley, and Vucevic, guys. So there you go. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. And as you guys already know, it, hour before slate, that can look completely different. Um, that's why you guys got, got to join the club, guys, dfsclub.com. We go live one hour before lock every single slate. That's right, Schroeder. And we break down the slate. That's when the news comes out with the uh, injuries, with the starting lineup. So come check us out, guys. If you're tired of losing, come join the winning team. Also, this is Draft Dashboard, guys. It's $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard. All right. So Schroeder and I are going to say a prayer for you guys. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless the pets. All right, the pets. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Schroeder and I are out. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.